Once upon a time, America fell in love with golf. And being Americans, we not only embraced it, we went crazy for it. We are so devoted to the sport that we have an entire television network that broadcasts golf 24 hours a day. But America's had its share of slices and traps in this love affair. There was the time that pool cues were officially banned as putters. And there was the good rich pneumatic pressure filled golf ball that exploded in hot weather. But America continued to redefine and redesign this centuries old game. And while we've been ardent fans of foreign golfers through the years, we have some of our own that have made their mark. 1911, John McDermott becomes the first native born American to win the US Open. At 17 years of age, he is also the youngest winner to date. 1922, Walter Hagen becomes the first Native American to win the Open Championship. He subsequently becomes the first professional golfer to open a golf equipment company under his own name. In the early 1920s, the fairway irrigation system is invented in Texas. Creeping bentgrass is developed for putting greens by the U.S. Agricultural Department. Steel shafted golf clubs are legalized and deep grooved irons are banned. Pebble Beach Golf Links opens as the Del Monte GI in Pebble Beach, California. The Texas Open is inaugurated, the second oldest surviving PGA Tour event. The Walker Cup match is instituted. Two direct descendants of Walker Cup founder George Herbert Walker would become President of the United States. His grandson, George H.W. Bush, and his great-grandson, George W. Bush. And then in 1930, Bobby Jones completes the original Grand Slam, winning the U.S. and British Amateurs and the U.S. and British Opens in the same year. Since Jones is an amateur, however, the financial windfall belongs to professional Bobby Cruikshank, who bets on Jones to complete the slam at 120 to 1 odds and pockets $60,000. Jones, perhaps satisfied that he's achieved all he can in the game, retires from competition at age 28 to practice law full time and to found a new club that would become known as Augusta National. Close behind comes the Masters. Along the way, we cheered and idolized Ben Hogan and Sam Snead. Then came the 1950s when the LPGA is founded and we sat in awe of Babe Dietrichson Zaharias, Patty Berg, Kathy Whitworth, Mickey Wright, Nancy Lopez, Rosie Jones, Rhonda Glenn, and the women making their mark in golf today, like Christy Kerr, Paula Creamer, Lexi Thompson. And of course, there are the famous male golfers known as Billy, Arnold, Jack, Tom, Tiger, Fuzzy, and Bubba. But here's what's great about America. As much as we celebrate American players, our quest and admiration for golf talent extends beyond our own borders. We are constantly on the lookout for the next world-class golfer. And there's no better place to find them than at the 2013 Spirit International Championship. Join us this fall at Whispering Pines and continue the legacy.